we continue with uh, vorticity and rotationability or rotational flow we have seen that when there is rotation how the physical uh, part of this we discussed a little earlier but now when whenever there is these parameters or vorticity or acceleration or whatever we need to be able to calculate them also and compute them so we remind ourselves with the formulas and the components that we need to calculate and how they will be evaluated now if we want to calculate vorticity in the cartesian rectangular coordinates that is x y z or i j k i j k are you considered to be are taken to be uh, unit vectors in x y z directions respectively then zeta the vorticity vector is computed by is calculated by partial derivatives all through partial derivative of w with respect to y minus partial derivative of b with respect to z so that will be the component of vorticity in x direction the component of vorticity in y direction is partial derivative of u with respect to z minus partial derivative of w with respect to x and finally in the z direction the vorticity vector component will be calculated by partial derivative of v with respect to x minus partial derivative of u with respect to y if you see these terms are very cyclic symmetric and two dimensional flow if i if let's say the fluid is not three dimensional and it is only two dimensional then zeta in the z direction will be uh, delta will be partial derivative of v with respect to x minus partial derivative of u with respect to y a trying to show a physical description again because of the nature of the subject and the flow these things are interrelated there is mathematics there is physics there is visual part so for a two dimensional motion flow in the xy plane the vorticity vector always points out in the z direction or minus z direction and again remember it depends on how the flow is moving so how whether it's from x to y direction or y to x direction and therefore the resultant vector i told you the cross product a cross b if it is equal to c then c is always perpendicular to this now the positive direction is taken to be if a cross b is is moving in the counter clockwise direction counter clockwise direction is considered as positive direction and clockwise direction as negative direction and that's what they have tried to say here that either z direction that is positive z direction is upwards or minus z downward direction depending upon which way the vectors are moving and then again similarly sometimes it's mathematically convenient and also geometrically sound sensible if the motion is angular now if the geometry of the fluid flow is cylindrical the fluid is flowing in a cylindrical motion in a way in a cylinder like the blood flowing in arteries so arteries in nature are not exactly they are flexible but they look like cylinder or sometime if the fluid is flowing in pipes pipes are normally cylindrical so we take cylindrical coordinates and similarly we choose spherical polar coordinates if the geometry dictates that we should consider spherical polar coordinates now vorticity vector in cylindrical polar coordinates 
In rectangular coordinates, we just saw in our earlier uh, discussion, in R theta z, which is a standard way of transforming x, y, z into cylindrical polar coordinates and zeta will be equal to 1 over r into partial derivative of u, z with respect to theta minus partial derivative of u, theta with respect to z that will be in the radial direction in the r direction partial derivative of u, r with respect to z minus partial derivative of u z with respect to radius this component will be in the in the theta direction uh, as far as the vorticity vector is concerned and vorticity vector in the z direction will be described by 1 by r into partial derivative of r u theta divided uh, with respect to r minus partial derivative of u r with respect to theta. So, these are the components they have been transformed from x, y, z coordinates to r theta z coordinates and the relevant values whenever we need to calculate, whenever we need to compute will be given by this. If the motion reduces to two dimensional motion, then as we saw in the rectangular coordinates, the motion remains only in the z direction and here correspondingly this is again in the z direction and zeta will be 1 by r into partial derivative of r u theta with respect to r minus partial derivative of u r with respect to theta. This will be the component of vorticity in the z direction. Now, trying to show it a two dimensional flow in this flag type diagram, you can see here the direction of r and of course uh, theta and if the vorticity is taking place in this flow field, then as we have said before, the fluid will be either moving in the upward direction or negative direction that is z will be either upwards perpendicular to r theta plane in the upward direction or downward direction depending upon if the motion is counterclockwise or clockwise. The counterclockwise motion is of r theta is taken to be as positive and the clockwise direction as negative represented here by minus z. 